Hello fellow modelers and styling fanatics, welcome back to my channel. I hope that everyone is doing fine and enjoys the hobby. Concrete Banger is back with a brand new episode and in today's episode we have lots of stuff to do. Probably lots of, that, lots of stuff to do, that's why I was thinking about it. So, I'm gonna be as quick as possible. First of all, I have found out a new channel about uh, a couple of weeks ago and I want to do a shout out for him because he's a great guy, he does excellent builds he and he did the shout out for me I want to return, return a favor back so his name is John Alex sorry if I pronounced it wrong and I killed it but <laughs> that's how I read it so it's John Alex scale modeling John uh, likes to build 1 to 35th and, or 1 to 48th, if I remember correct, uh, armored vehicles and aircrafts from World War II era. So far, uh, I'm not so sure about the era. Anyway, uh, he likes building those stuff. He he does great videos. He's uh, he's unboxing them and do an almost step by step build with uh, giving you advices about uh, what you should uh, know about the, the particular kit he builds and stuff like that. So please guys, I will, link, I will leave a link to, uh, to my description below to his channel. Please guys go and check him out and give him a sub or a like, whatever you want. <clears throat> Anyway, uh, spend some time in his channel, he definitely deserves it. And now I'm gonna move on to our main attraction for this video. Uh, our main attraction for this video is my presentation of our next project. Uh, this time I wanted to do some, not something different, the usual stuff, but uh, I, I wanted to do a return to my roots, to my roots anyway. World War 2 is the subject, of course it's gonna be a tank, this one is a light tank and uh, I, for the first time in, in this channel I wanna copy a photo and when I say I wanna copy a photo I found the photo of the subject and I wanna see how well I am going to, um, to represent it in uh, actual miniature size. So, uh, I'm gonna pause the video, turn the camera around and uh, show you what we are going to do. So, give me some time, we're gonna do that. So guys, as I said, I wanted to represent the photo. I'm gonna do it, I'm, I'm gonna show you the photo somewhere here. Anyway, in frame. And, um, as I said, I wanna replicate it. To replicate the photo, I will need this little puppy, the Caro Armato L6-40 from Italy in 1 to 35th scale and kit number 6469. Apparently, Box has seen better days. I have bought this kit as a second hand from a fellow friend from a Facebook page. Price was really good because I bought this kit and another kit and many more kits in a pack in a pack. So it was something like an offer. I have checked the contents, everything seems to be in place and unscathed from the condition of the box, as I said. And here is a look of it from the back. As you can see, we have multiple choices and multiple camo schemes, although we're gonna do one, like every time. We have the, the color callouts, probably from Italy. And according to scale mates, I could not found many information about it. This is a full kit and in the release date, they write so they write this exactly 2008 changed 
they didn't they didn't uh, say if it was an initial release or a rebox or anything anyway i don't care what it is from all i care it has that this one is a collector's edition kit it uh, has a lot of interesting stuff inside and i'm gonna show you as we go so box is a side opener one of the things that I hate but anyway it is what it is and inside it contains this small photographic reference manual as it says it has a brief history technical details a walk around and color photos of the vehicle look at this thing here's a brief history and some photos in black and white some really interesting uh, reference material if you ask me which is cool and over here we have a brief history it says but we have a, 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 you know a sketch from the stuff that the tank has <laughs> Everything has numbers on it. If you guys would like, I can leave me a comment below and I will take a photo, photos of, of this build and present it, of this book and present it on a separate video. Anyway, the technical details go up to this page, and now we have a walk around from for, uh, from this tank from a single muse museum, which is a I don't know why where ah okay the museum in Kubica, Kubinka in Moscow nearby Moscow. That's what the book says. Never been there, so I'm gonna trust it. They know better. Lots and lots of uh, useful photos over here and reference material, as I said. I'm gonna put this book in good use. I find this tank uh, cool looking and interesting because I like my light tanks. I find them more interesting than the usual stuff, you know, the Panthers, the Tigers, the Act Tigers, Tough 34s, even though I build a lot of them, I find these little light tanks more cool looking and interesting. And we have the color profiles. And that's it from this book show. It contains this small book, as I said. Instructions, we're gonna, which we're going to take a look later. This cardboard box art, which, which was supposed to be outside of the box, but now it's inside because the condition of the box is like this. As I said, this kit is a, a, collector, a collector's edition kit. Anyway, I'm gonna keep it and let's cut to the cheese. We have two, four, six plastic sprues in three separate baggies. I'm gonna get the parts out and give you a closer look later. We have this small baggie with photo edge parts, which, were, which are always welcome in kits if you ask me. And of course our small set of decals. Now you guys are gonna give me some time. I'm gonna uh, get everything out of their baggies and I'm gonna give you a closer look of the parts and of the instructions. So guys we have everything out of the baggies and let's start as usual with the instructions first. Here is our black and white leaflet. Ah, kinda leaflet, fold out paper. In the first page, we have once again a brief history in multiple languages about the vehicle English, Italian, German, 
en el Netherlands, probably. <laughs> y I don't know, I ha ah, es eh, en español, sorry, <laughs> and French. We have attention, what to be careful, of course I'm not gonna be careful of anything, as usual. We have a sprue map in the second page of everything, so we can see that we have two duplicates of the B sprue. Let me fold it the other way so you can have a better look, because I don't have studio lights. <laughs> so we have A, a duplicate of sprue. D, E, C, and photo edge thread together with this, which is the clear, the clear sprue. In the first step, we construct the the lower hole. Of course, it is in separate pieces. Second step, we add some interior detail onto the lower hole, which is great because I will need to have some hatches half open. If, if not open, we have some tra transmission detail, the driver's seat and, he, and his uh, levers that he controls the tank from. On to our third step, give me a moment, give you a better look guys. Third step, we have the attachment of the movement gear and the suspension system, which is quite a peculiar system. First time I see something like this. Anyway, this Italian uh, ta light tank is quite a peculiar vehicle, that's why I like light tanks. So in the third step, as I said, we have suspension system for both sides, and it's quite a busy step, which I don't have a problem, I'm just saying. Fourth step, we have the assembly of the tracks. As you can see, the tracks are link and length. Anyway, it is what it is. I'm gonna take it. I would uh, prefer magic tracks, but I can live with that as long as they are not rubber bands. Fifth step, we have the addition of the fenders and the exhaust system together with some pioneer tools and accessories, which are not gonna go until the very end. Sixth step, we uh, have sub-assemblies and the assembly of the upper hole or the top lid, whatever you want to call it. I'm gonna call it upper hole because this is the way this is the way they call it. I think. So as you can see, as you can see, we have deep, many different armor panels to line up and put together and make sure that everything is correctly positioned. This is going to be a little bit challenging, but anyway, seven step is of course some more pioneer tools and accessories and uh, tool cases or cases that you store stuff and we move on to the eighth step which is the main gun and bridge assembly together with the turret over here with a small turret as you can see and ninth step is attachment of the turret and, and the, the front uh, headlights onto the vehicle together with some hooks and this should come to an end. Now we have one, two, three, four, five different uh, color, col uh, color schemes. First one is version A, Re oh, excuse my Italian, is Reggio Esercito, Regiment of an Fanteria Carista cooperating with German units in Balkans, September 1943. This one is probably the one we're gonna make because this one is the one that the photo has, so I'm probably opting for this one, 99%. Version B is Regio Esercito 31 Regiment of Fanteria Carista before army strikes, it says here. Balkans, June 1943. Ooh, I am a, night, a native Italian speaker. <laughs> so, version C is Regio Cercito 3 Gruppo Corazzato 
Lancieri di Novara, North Africa 1942. Version D is Regio Sercito, something in Latin, with, because I don't know numbers in Latin, it's too difficult for me. Bataglione Bersaglieri, Russia, Russia 1943. And version E is German Ar- Army and the Partisan Duty Unit in Balkans 1944. Hmm, many units in Balkans. I will, I will maybe need to grab many multiple kits because I would like to do something in Balkans. Anyway, those were the instructions. From a quick look, I, I gave them over here with you guys because that's the first guy, uh, time I see them. They are quite uh, clear and explanatory, but I'm gonna give you my honest opinion in the end of this build, as always. Let's put them aside and move quickly to our first sprue. Now from I'm gonna grab them in random. Over here we have sprue C. Let me see if I can get you to wobbly mode for a closer look. So over here we have sprue C which has uh, armor panels of the upper hall and the storage boxes. Uh, it is nicely and crispy detailed. You can see lots and lots of rivets and bolts. 99% they are rivets anyway, which I always like because they are nice weathering and detail material in a build. Really crisp and some interior detail as I said because it has Some, the tank has some interior detail, which is always right, uh, right, which is always cool. Sorry. No mold marks, vis- in visible places at least, which is always welcome. And no excess flesh. So this pro is good looking, if I have to say something. On to the next one, we have this pro. Over here, which which has parts of the turret, if not if if not the whole turret together, it looks a bit bent, but it's probably okay. What do I expect? The box was in terrible condition. Anyway, once again, lovely detail, small rivets. Nicely casted on the surface, the rivet, and some nice interior detail onto the uh, the turret. But I doubt that we will be uh, able to see anything in there because it's so tiny. Anyway, we're gonna do, we're gonna work our best. Of course, I'm gonna detail paint and do everything in the interior because. Even though nobody is gonna see it, I will know that it is there. That's the this sprue. Another lovely sprue. Then we move on to the next one, which is the E sprue. This one looks to have the uh, the bridge assembly and the bridge and main gun assembly. Lots of small pieces, nicely detailed. This one is. Slight molded, probably, and we have a seat over here. Probably the gunner seat. I don't know. We're gonna find out when we put this kit together. We have the coaxial machine gun. The machine gun located next to the main gun and the main gun, which looks like a straw, <laughs> comparing them to, to the bigger medium tanks of the era. But once again, this one is cooler for me. <laughs> Look at the detail in this uh, gear. Nicely done from Italy, and I can see no excess flesh, guys. No excess flesh and no mold marks or anything. Really, really nicely casted. That's my opinion, of course. So. That's all for for Ace Now let's move on to the duplicates. 
the duplicates as I said are those two I'm gonna leave one aside because they contain the same stuff this one is the this those two are the beast sprues over here as you can see we have road wheels and trucks trucks as I said once again are link and length nicely detailed and separated links over separated links if even in the length the links are nicely separated let's see from the other side oh it's really crispy guys really nicely detailed no not not a lot of cleanup needed on the tracks okay it it needs some but not a lot of I'm really pleased with that and look at the detail on those road wheels over here the bolts uh, the the tires and everything nicely done I'm really uh, uh, amazed by by Italian didn't expect them to do something like this you know value for money not that I uh, underestimate the company the company really really cool stuff crisp and clean once again Ooh, we are in for a treat with this one so we have two duplicate spruce for the moving the moving gear road wheels look to be okay look to be okay look to be enough not a lot of them and we move on to the only big sprue that the kit ha that this kit has this one is the A sprue and it contains parts of the lower hull the engine deck over here of course parts of the interior like the engine and transmission over here it has suspension arms for the weird suspension that this vehicle has and they, these I'm betting that they are the side fenders this is probably the exhaust or part of the exhaust anyway here's a closer look of everything look at those beautiful rivet detail Ooh, lots of weathering material there I'm gonna need a lot of I'm gonna do a lot of practice <laughs> and look at those vents are nicely molded oh they're gonna cut they're gonna cut the detail and they wash nicely we have the seat the driver's seat over here and the lower hole and that's all for the plastic parts of this kit let's move on to the photo it's and clear pieces I always appreciate a kit, a kit if if it has photo it's no matter the size over here it is always a nice surprise for me it gives a lot of detail and gives me the um, uh, the chance to practice with them because I, I want to be better and I want to do a lot of uh, photo aids parts in the future so I won't be able to recognize anything from here but those are detailed parts we're gonna see what they are as we make them and now we have this which is clear acetone that's the way you call it guys the guys that know better than me these are two uh, punched, there are two holes punched over here for the headlights and finally we have the decal seat which contains Mickey ok he is not Mickey but it is a cool looking uh, marking <laughs> but this one is Mickey ok we have the decal seat decals look thin enough the um, the clear uh, you know the the film is near to the decal and they should work great 
and now that's everything that the kit contains. From the from a quick look, we are in for a treat. As I said, this should be an interesting uh, project for me. I hope that you guys also find it interesting and stick along for the process. And that's as with all that said and done. That's the end of this video. I will say it once again, I hope you guys find this project interesting and stick along to see the process and to see how it will came up, uh, come out. And of course before I go I want to thank each and every one of you guys that watched this video. A special thank you to my old and new subscribers. Welcome guys. You guys are the best and you are the reason that I keep doing these videos for the... <coughs> I hope you like that you like what I do, if so you'll know what to do. Leave a like, comment with your thoughts and opinions, share the video if you believe it deserves to be shared, or even consider subscribing for more builds to come your way. Until the next time fellow modelers and friends, take care and model on, it was that Mofo Damon signing out.